Happy Manic Monday, folks. This is your girl PJ coming to you live, fresh out of traffic as usual. And in the usual style, we are giving God thanks for a life and health and strength and all good things. I'm giving God thanks for a wonderful weekend. We are kicking off this segment of the commentary with a blast from the past. One of my favorite R&B artists, the most soulful, the most prolific, the most sensual, Anita Baker. This song was a huge hit in the 90s. And let me tell you something, it's quite, it's quite relevant to the schools that I'm about to speak about. The schools that were featured in particular that I'm dedicated this song to is St. George's College. Believe me, oh, believe me, I do, I apologize. This is an honest and true apology because I knew I was wrong, SDGC. That's why I'm singing you this song this morning, guys. Let me tell you. So the other school that was featured in Friday's airing of the doubleheader match was Campion College. But this dedication is for St. George's College in particular. And... I, I have to basically, I gave them a rough time. I gave them a hard time when they just came on the scene. But man, I am super proud of my boys. They didn't, they didn't come out the victors, but they gave a solid fight. I mean, I got to big them up, especially my little friend, my little came on, the little cute one. So let's just quickly jump into the stats. Let's just jump into the stats. At the end of the opening challenge, they were ahead of the big bike, the big mighty champion by, by one. They were ahead by one. They closed that segment on seven and champion on six. During the speed section, you know, I think after the first minute, they had a good, their second minute of the speed section, they had a lovely, they, they, I think they racked up eight points in the second minute of the speed section. But they closed off on 29. They tied with Campion on 29 at the end of the speed round. It was not a walkover. Sadly, at the end of the buzzer round, you know, when the smoke cleared, <sighs> Campion won. 33 to Campion on 20. 20 to my boys. They fell down. They fell down. But let me tell you why I'm particularly proud of them. For those who are not familiar, George has caught the title in, I think the last time was 1986 or 19, I think it was 1986. Since that time, the closest that they've ever come to the quarterfinals was probably in 1991 or 1992. This team is the closest since 1991, 92 to come this close to tasting the quarterfinals. And that's why I have to big them up because when them just come by the seat, I said, yo, you want to see how many that dark them up? You want to see how many that say, yo, I'm joking this. Because I underestimated the power of these little engines. So, STGC, respect you. Respect you, lads. You done well. You did your, your school well. Me have to just add majorum de glorum. Yo, you think proper, you know, for the to the greater glory of God. I think that's what your motto means. So I'm sure the Lord is pleased with y'all. You don't know. But anyway, it's on to Campion. You know, all the best, Campion. Why I wish we could have said, cause usually them time are champs time, yeah. So would I say, you know, off you go, Georges. <laughs> But we all know that the track record in that area is not so great. So, I'm going to wait till football come around. I'm not going to go. I'm going to tell people I swear I'm not going. I've never been to a champs. I'm going to see myself as support any other school except George's. And of course, the next time George's wins will be when the Lord will be coming. So, any day on the air that George's win champs, repent. Repent because the end will be near at that time 
I wish them and I love them, but I don't know. <laughs> not now going for them. But I see not now going for them ever. It's gonna take a miracle. <laughs> but anyway, champion, what good? Um I saw I, I'm not sure who's gonna meet you for the quarterfinals, but I'm not go in. But anyway, guys. On that note, have a really great, really great rest of the Monday, and I'll see you all in the morning, guys. Toodles.